Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I present you with Nino Kuni running on Xbox Series X. It's a big surprise and I think that was the biggest surprise of today's TGS. The fact that they announced this game and not only announced, they also released that game at the same time. So that was actually a cool thing uh, to learn about, of course. So um, yeah, it's uh, available in Game Pass. So that's another great news for Xbox owners. So not only it's a remastered version, so obviously it's enhanced for like these newer consoles because the original was released for was released for PlayStation Three, if I'm not mistaken. Then last generation. PlayStation 4 got their version, and I think it was also released for PC, uh, but Xbox never got it, and it looks like the Phil Spencer's um, effort towards getting more games in Japan is actually paying off, because we're actually really getting more and more of these Japanese titles uh, for Xbox. Now, this is an RPG uh, with a very unique style, like manga, like style. Now, I will skip the cutscenes because I don't want to spoil the story and that kind of stuff. I just want to show you the gameplay a little bit. Um, by the way, I'm not necessarily, uh, you know, uh, experienced with, <laughs> with this game, to be honest with you. Um, I, I did play it a little bit on PlayStation 3 back in the days, but just a little bit. So, uh, but it's a typical... Mm, Japanese kind of a RPG with a you know apparently this is a very good game it it if you check the scores and Metacritic um, yeah it, it's 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 been rated very high I like the graphic style and it's actually kind of cool thing about this graphic style is that um, you know it never gets old really great thing is that on Xbox Series X at least it's a 60 frames per second game as you can see Okay, I need to actually follow this guy. Um, so that's very good because it's nice and smooth. Uh, there's no graphics options, not that I actually uh, noticed um, because um, if we press the Y button... Um, okay, well, first of all, we can save. That's kind of cool. I should have done this uh, earlier. But um, there's settings over here and you can change the difficulty music settings and all kinds of stuff but there's no graphics uh, settings over here also there's no me additional menu over here you can just quit the game or continue right so let's follow this guy and we'll see let's check where is that going to lead us to yeah as always like lots of uh you know, this is the beginning of the game, so there's a lot of um, uh, tutorials because, yeah, I mean, I, I actually never played that. I mean, I, I, it's been a while since I played it on PlayStation 3, so uh, there is a map uh, at the top of the screen, so there's this star and I have to actually get there. There's actually quite a lot of cutscenes, uh, at least at the, very, at the very beginning of the game, but that's sort of very um, Japanese, if you know me, if you know what I mean. You're, you're the little guy. Yeah, okay, I've got a stick finally, so I can finally defend myself and fight enemies. So that's great. Mm. I'm really liking the the art style. And, you know, genie speaking, I'm very happy that um, Xbox is actually, you know, uh, doing this effort to actually bring these type of games to Xbox. And I know that not everyone is into that kind of content and into that kind of games, but hey, there's a lot of people that want to play uh, these, ty these, these type of games. So, like, with Persona 5, for example, like, everyone, a lot of people were asking for this game on Xbox, and apparently it's sold out, because, you know, you can buy pre-orders and stuff. Ooh, what's going on here? I was transferred to some other place. Huh? Hey, wait for me! 
The only thing I noticed is that I think those uh, CGI's, these movies, are in 30 frames per second. I think. So it looks like he was transferred, that book transferred him to some other place. That's all you need to know for now. Okay, let's pick, let's skip the cutscene. And let's get to the actual fight, so let's attack. So now we will learn how to fight. Come on, use uh, to attack. Okay, you can defend. Attack! Wow. Let's collect it. Oh, so that's HP, that's great. It will restore a few of your HP. Blue's MP back, that's great. It would, it would be cool to get a better weapon, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, graphics is actually cool. I like it. Oh, there you go. I've got an achievement as well. So, now we are presented with this map. Okay. You obtain three loaves of white bread. Yeah, I mean, guys, the the very beginning of the game is obviously like that. You have to go through those. Um, what's that? You obtain a bu a bunch of what? I missed that. Oh, I I obtained something. Let's get ready for a fight. This rough again. Let's go. That was a lot of work. Oh, I leveled up. Leveled up. That's great. I feel stronger now. I'm telling you. Yeah, it, actually, this map is actually a bit... Um, yeah, it shows its age. So, yeah, I mean, they didn't really improve this part of the, of the game. Uh, because the game itself, like the previous um, kind of locations, the actual locations look very, very cool. But over here is like um, this kind of... Uh, oh, I can actually rotate the camera, finally. So we can actually explore, and um, this is very fun, Final Fantasy-like. Uh, in between locations, and I bet that I have to go to that castle. Um, I'm guessing, because, like I said, I don't know. Uh, so we can actually level up and fight with these um, creatures. So let's fight this bird now. Minor, be minor birdie. Okay, let's attack. Um, I thought I could use magic, but there's no magic there. I need to check the defend. Let's try this uh, lion, I guess. Ah, uh, uh, that's this rough <laughs> line. Okay, that's a bit of, too much of a... Let's try defend. That makes no sense. Okay, let's attack. Oh, so I was smashing the attack button, but I, I just have to... Pr 
press attack once and it attacks attacks it until the times run out okay lesson learned oh there's somebody there okay i didn't fight that thing yet is that a rat or something no that's not a rat rhinosaur Actually, I need to um, boost my HP. I've got that bread, so let's eat it. Bread. There we go. I feel better now. Belly full. Okay, so you know what? Let's just go to that castle. Because we can spend like, over here like a whole day over here. There's something I forgot to tell you. Here in my ward you can use to change your viewpoint. Oh, he's talking about... yeah, okay. Yeah. So he's He means that I can ro rotate the um, camera. Ding Dong Dell. Who named that castle like that? Ding Dong Dell. The, the the cool thing about these games is that they never get old. Like if you're going to be playing these games ten years from now, they still going to look good. Skip it. Why they didn't let me in? Okay, so I need to some find somebody. So I need to go up north over there. So, guys, I'm starting this uh, dangerous journey up north to find some old man. Don't even know why, but hey, the game is telling me to do so. So, sleep, 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 a follow. Attack this guy. Oh, so, no, that's not good. Beat him, beat, beat him with a stick. This guy just put me to sleep. So guys, that's the game. Um, you know, it's um, it's a cool little surprise. You know, maybe it's not the most wanted Xbox game and stuff. Uh, but you know like Xbox needs these games as well especially if they want to grow in in like Japan and stuff right so um, and it's always nice to check these games out like after uh, Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy games now we're getting that Persona 5 is coming out next week actually there's going to be a lot of games to play uh, on Xbox and Game Pass and don't forget Deathloop is coming out next uh, it's actually dropping on xbox next week so yeah <laughs> a lot of content to play a lot of content to cover i will have videos on them as well so guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care